sorry for my normal instrument building videos, but I thought something you might find helpful. Uh, I recently purchased this single stage dust collector. I have a small workshop in my basement, uh, but the furnace is also down here. And obviously when you're, when you're doing a lot of woodworking, I was getting a lot of dust from my table saw and my thickness sander. So I got this four inch uh, collector here. And uh, there's no active dust collecting on the table saw itself. Yeah, it has solid sides on the table. The bottom is open and the front is open here by the motor. And the back is open by the swivel for the tilt on the blade. And so I needed a way to enclose this so I could get the dust from the tool to the dust collector hose. I have this foam board here. It's uh, an extruded polystyrene. It's really stiff uh, and it's a half inch thick. And I thought maybe there's some way I can enclose it with this. It'd be easy to work with. And uh, maybe we could eventually get this closed in so I could get the holes hooked to it. But let's see what I came up with. Okay, to accomplish this, we we'll want to cover as much of the openings here as we can. Obviously, we'll need something in the bottom. And that's where I'm going to put the uh, nozzle to collect the dust. And this is open here in the front of the saw. And the thing that you have to be concerned about here is the this tilts when you tilt the blade. Uh, and also, there's the belt for the motor is on this side, and the belt moves when you raise the blade up and down. And uh, to cover as much as I can, I'm gonna design this to, so that I'm making just straight cuts with the saw and, and not using the tilt on it. Uh, that's gonna be like 99% of my cuts. And that way I'll be able to get as much covered as I can and that will stop as much of the dust that I can. Now, spoiler alert here, this is not going to be an air purifier. It, it's going to probably do a good job of getting most of the dust collected. It will keep the dust off the floor. Uh, some will come through the, the bag when the dust collector collects the dust. And But what I will do is I will I'm going to first cut out the pieces and since it's foam I'm going to kind of you know I'll be able to work with them a little easier to make sure I get the right fit so I'll get the pieces cut and I'll get them fit and then we'll assemble uh, the, the dust collection So I had to mess around a little bit with the foam to make sure it would fit up under the table saw. And then I put the bell nozzle on here and then I drew the outline uh, where I got to cut it out here. This is the edge, but this is actually where I'm going to cut. So I'll have room to put the screws in to hold the nozzle onto this foam. So I cut out the opening so I could attach the nozzle. Made drilled some holes for the bolts. And what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna use some duct tape along the edges there just to seal it and to give it a little more smoother texture so it doesn't catch a lot of sawdust that comes through. The nozzle is now attached to the foam board and I lined it with uh, duct tape to kind of smooth out the edges and make it less likely to catch sawdust and pieces of chips of wood that come through. And so now we're going to attach it to the bottom of the saw. So I've got all the pieces cut out and we're going to start putting them in. Uh, as you can see here, this is open so the blade can tilt. 
but since the vast majority of our cuts are going to be 90 degrees, uh, I'm going to put the foam here, stop as much dust coming out as, as possible. Uh, they need to be put in a specific order so they can all fit in there properly. So I'm going to start with this one in the back of the saw here. And snaps in place here and the next one I need to put in is the one in front of the saw. Okay we're in the front of the saw and this is the piece that we're going to put in here. I have to put a hinge in it so that I could get it to fit in there and wanted to make sure we left enough room so that the blade could go up and down just when when the blade goes up and down this belt moves. I've taken off the guard and the the belt shield here, but you don't want, don't run your table saw without that guard on. I just took it off so I got access to get this on. This goes in behind here. these snap in and there are some holes down here at the bottom and I'm probably going to use some uh, maybe like um, drywall screws or something to hold it together uh, I'm not sure how, how durable it will be and how it will hold together so that I'll, I'll do an update once I get the chance to try it but uh, for now I just showing you where the pieces are going to go in uh, last thing we have to do is put in the bottom piece Okay, we're under the table saw here. This is the bottom. And I've got the plate with the nozzle on it here. Getting ready to slide this in. And... The other thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put in a, a couple screws in these holes to hold it in place here. I have some screws with washers on. Okay, so now it's just a matter of tightening this onto the nozzle with this uh, four inch clamp. We've got the four inch dust collection hose connected, got the guard back on the blade. So let's uh, start up the dust collector make a few cuts to see what happens. Engage dust collector.
some material using the dust collection system. I cut some uh, OSB board and I cut some dimensional lumber and I cut some foam just to see what what would happen and you know kept everything off the floor. Tables fairly clean. Uh, so looks like fairly successful you know, compared to what I had before which was nothing. Uh, there are other modifications you can make to a table saw. Uh, some that you might have seen are for overhead dust collection. Uh, I think you might still get a little bit up on the top of the table with this setup, but um, yeah, it's a vast improvement. And as I mentioned before, not an air purifier. The dust collector will catch the big parts and the, um, the trap on the dust collector itself will filter the air as it comes out. But uh, like I say, it's not a, a pure air system if, uh, if that's what you're looking for. There are other things you can do to uh, make your dust collection even better. This is my, my first run at it. And uh, I'm gonna be very happy, I think, with the results. And I'll give you some updates as we move along here.